Lesson 1.8, Estimate Differences. If you've missed any of the previous lessons, you can watch them by clicking on the description so you don't become lost or confused. A difference is the answer to a subtraction problem. We can estimate differences by using compatible numbers, which we learned in video 1.3, those are numbers that are easy to add mentally and are close to the real number. So they're easy to add in our head. If we had to subtract 47 minus 24, we could use compatible numbers. 47 is close to 50. 24 is close to 25. We could do 50 minus 25. That would be 25. If we had to do 61 minus 29, we could do 60 minus 30, because 61 is close to 60, and 29 is close to 30, and it would equal 30. We could also estimate differences by using place value to round. We learned about doing that in video 1.2. If the digit to the right is a 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, the number will stay the same, and all the numbers to its right become zeros. And if the number to its right is a 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, that number will go up 1, and all the numbers to its right will become zeros. Emma drove 287 miles. Lisa drove 336 miles. About how many more miles did Lisa drive than Emma? So the word about is a clue word to estimate. And... How many more is a clue word that we need to subtract. So we know from these words, the word about tells us we should estimate, and how many more tells us to find the difference between 287 and 336. We can use compatible numbers. Lisa drove 336, Emma drove 287. We need to find the difference between them, so it's a subtraction problem. And 325 is close to 336, and 275 is close to 287. We could say 325 minus 275. This is 25 more than 300. This is 25 more to 300. So that would be 25 and 25, so the difference would be about 50 miles more than Emma that Lisa drove. Here's some more examples of using compatible numbers. We have 52 minus 24. We could say it's 50 minus 25. That would be about 25. That would be the estimate of our difference. Here we have 97 minus 48. We could say 100 minus 50. Those are close to the actual numbers. That estimate would be about 50. We have 374. We could say it's 375. We have 249. We could say that's about 250. When we find the difference, it would be about 125. We've got 50 to 300, and then 75 more than 300, and the 50 and the 75 would be 125, 125 for the difference. Here we have 546, we could say that's 550. Here we have 398, we need to subtract. We could say that's about 400. 550 minus 400 would estimate to be about 150. So that would be examples of using compatible numbers. We can also use place value to round. If we have 336 and we want to subtract 287, we could round them to the nearest tens place. We mark the tens place so we can pay attention to which place value we're trying to round. And the number to the right, this 6, is going to tell the 3 to go up to a 4, then it becomes a 0. So 336 rounded to the nearest 10 is 340. For this 8, the 7 is telling it to go up to the next digit, so it becomes a 9, and the 7 becomes a 0. 
So 287 rounded to the nearest 10 is 290. When we subtract 340 minus 290, it's about 50. We round both of these to the same place value. If we were rounding to the hundreds place, we would round this to the hundreds and this to the hundreds. You have to round both the minuend and the subtrahend to the same place. Here we have more examples. We're going to do 52 minus 24. We're rounding to the nearest tens place, so the 2 tells the 5 to stay the same, and it becomes a 0, so that rounds to the tens place as a 50. This 4 is telling the 2 to stay the same, so it rounds to 20. 50 minus 20 is 30 for our estimate. Here we have 97 minus 48, like we did before for the compatible numbers. This 7 is telling the 9 to go up one more 10. Well, one more 10 than 9 tens is 10 tens, so that would be 100. This 8 is telling the 4 to go up to a 5, and it becomes a 0, so we have 100 minus 50. Our estimate is 50. Here we're rounding to the tens place. The 4 tells the 7 to stay the same, so it rounds to 370. Here the 9 is telling the 4 to go up to a 5, it rounds to 250. 370 minus 250 is about 120 for an estimate. Here we have 546 rounding to the nearest 10. The 6 tells the 4 to go up to a 5 and then turns into a 0, so that rounds to 550 to the nearest 10. For 398, this 8 is telling the 9 to go up one more 10. And if it does, we'll have to add another 100 to this 3. Because we'll have 10 tens, that's another 100. So it rounds to 400. And 550 minus 400 is about 150 for our estimate. Depending on which strategy we use, we may get a different estimate. But that is OK, because an estimate is close to the actual number and not exact. If we have 52 minus 24 and we use compatible numbers, 50 would be compatible to 52, 25 would be compatible to 24, and we'd get an estimate of 25. But if we used place value to round to the nearest tens, the 2 tells the 5 to stay the same, so it rounds to 50. The 4 tells the 2 to stay the same, so it rounds to 20. Our estimate is a 30. And we've got the same subtraction problem. So depending on if we use compatible numbers or place value to round, we might end up with a different estimate. Here we have 546 minus 398. Compatible numbers would be 550 and 400. Our estimate for the difference would be 150. If we use place value and rounded it to the nearest tens place, this 6 tells the 4 to go up, so it rounds to 550. This 9, the 8 is telling it to go up one more 10. So it would add 10 tens to the hundreds place value. That's another 100, so it rounds to 400 when we round it to the nearest tens place, believe it or not. And when we do our subtraction, we get about 150 for our estimate. And that was the same as the compatible number. See that? But here, when we did it, the compatible number to the place value rounding were different. So it depends on which strategy we use. It depends on what place value you're rounding to also. Just remember that an estimate is not an exact number. Bob said the estimated difference between the weight of the lion and tiger is zero. Is he correct? Well, let's look at this table. It says type of big cat and its weight. We have a lion, and it's 486 pounds, a tiger, that's 502 pounds, and a leopard, that's 135 pounds. He thinks the estimated difference between the lion and the tiger is zero. Well, if we used compatible numbers for the tiger, that would be about 500, wouldn't it? And the lion 
we could say that's about 475. When we do the subtraction to find the difference, we'd get 25. 475 is 25 different from 500, so that would be the estimated difference. If we round to the hundreds place, 502 rounds to 500. And 486 rounded to the nearest hundred, the 8 tells the 4 to go up to a 5, and then the 8 and the 6 turn into zeros, so that's 500, and 500 minus 500 is zero. If we round to the nearest tens place, this rounds, the 2 tells the zero to stay the same, and it turns into a zero, so that rounds to 500. The 6 tells the 8 to go up to a 9 and turns into a zero, so that would be 490. Then the difference is 10. So is Bob correct? Well, depending on which strategy he used and which place value he rounded to, it depends. It depends on which one he used. He could be correct. If he rounded to the nearest hundreds place, he's correct. Remember, it's just an estimated difference. It's not an exact difference. So here we have a copy of our table, the lion's weight, the tiger's weight, and the leopard's weight. About how much more is the total weight of the lion and leopard than the tiger? Well, it says total weight of the lion and leopard. That means we need to add the lion and leopard, the 486 and the 135. It says about how much more means we need to find an estimate of the difference. So the first thing we do is find the total weight of the lion and leopard. We add the lion and leopard. 6 plus 5 is 11. That's a 10 and a 1. We regroup the 10 and put the 1 in the 1's place. We add 8 plus 3, which is 11, plus the 1 we regrouped, that's 12. 12 is a 12 tens, remember, because we're in the 10's place. 10 tens is 100, and we put the 2 tens in the 10's place. Then we add 100 plus 400 plus 100, and that's 600. So we have 621 for the total weight of the lion and leopard. Now we need to find a difference of the estimate for this to the tiger. 621 is our total weight. The tiger is 502. If we use compatible numbers, we could use 625 for the total weight of the lion and leopard, and 500 for the tiger, that would be an estimated difference of about 125 pounds more than the tiger. If we round to the nearest tens place, this one tells the two to stay the same and turns into a zero, so that would round to 620. This two tells the zero to stay the same and becomes a zero, so that rounds to 500. So rounding to the tens place, we get 120 pounds more than the tiger. See how we have a different estimate depending on which method we use, which strategy we use. So we can estimate differences using compatible numbers or place value to round. But remember, the estimates may be different depending on the strategy we use and depending on the place value that we're rounding to. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye!